Hi, welcome, Simon here, and hope you're doing well. In this video, I will be replacing an M.2 SSD drive as well as applying a new thermal paste on this Asus gaming laptop. All right, so here I have a brand new M.2 drive SSD, and this is a MX4 thermal compound. It's a thermal paste because the computer is running on, the fan is going on a high speed all the time, so I kind of figure we need to clean off the fan as well as apply some new thermal paste to kind of cool off the computer. Has been a while. All right, so let's go ahead and identify the model here. Uh, if you take a look, it says G513QY. That is the model of this Asus laptop. All right, let's go ahead and focus a little bit more, get a Phillips screwdriver and start removing the screws. What I recommend you to do is maybe take a picture, print out the piece of paper. As you remove the screw screws, use the paper as a reference. You can lay out the screws on top of the paper that you just printed out. That way, you know, you're not mix match the screw as you go along with it. So far, the screws looks all the same. Except the one here at the bottom. It looks like it's a lot much shorter compared to the rest. And looks like the screw here on the bottom right, it doesn't come off. Okay, so just leave it as is. All right, the next step is to work on the screw at the bottom right, since it's not coming off. That way, it probably separate the back cover. Allows me to get in there. If it doesn't, you might want to find a different angle. Yeah, let's work at the bottom. It's a lot easier, it looks like. Let me try again using a different prying tool. Just need to get enough of space to pry it open, like such. Maybe using a plastic prying tool to go ahead and pry it open. Okay, at this point here, please do not pull the back cover like I did. I kind of just put it out earlier. It looks like there's a lighting at the bottom of the, uh, the flex cable. And let me show it to you in just a moment. So everything is still connected. Do not, do not pull off the uh, back cover. Uh, just gently lift it open. And the next step is to disconnect the flex cable. So let me go ahead and uh, position this first because I'm having a bit of a difficulty here. Because they do have this lighting in the back cover which um, makes the computer looks cool but I just think it's just nonsense. There's no point of having this anyway. Uh, couldn't reconnect them back again. So, so here you want to uh, lift it up, okay? And then open up the clipper 
and slide the connector away. So what happened was this lighting here, um, the light on that bottom part of the uh, the back cover. When I removed the cover, I did not notice there was one on this side. I kind of pull it. But anyway, that's what you need to do. Okay. Okay, the next step, I'm going to disconnect the battery. So here's the battery. What I like to do is to push this little metal bracket. Let me do that again for one more time. This little metal bracket, you need to open it up, pushing it away from you. Therefore, you can um, lift the connector straight up. So the metal bracket here is to kind of lock the connector so it doesn't make the, the battery get disconnected while you're moving the computer or whatnot. All right. All right, let's jump into the hard drive. This is the M.2. I'm going to re remove the M.2 drive. And for those of you who are curious to find out how can I recover the data if I remove the M.2 drive, all you have to do is to buy one of these USB adapter. This USB M.2 adapter allows you to insert your hard drive, okay, and then go ahead and plug it into a secondary computer. Um, therefore, you can uh, recover the data. So go ahead and plug it into um, a different computer. This would act like a thumb drive, you know, like your USB thumb drive, plug it in and you should be able to see your file. Unless your hard drive is bad, if your hard drive is completely gone, then, um, then there's no chance to recover the data. Okay, so removing this, replacing this one, uh, there's a little thermal pad here, you might want to save that for later. And this is my replacement M.2 drive, I'm going to stick it there. Okay, and push it in and ins install it. All right, so let's let's jump into the uh, Windows installation uh, because with the new hard drive that we just installed, you definitely need to have a Windows uh, 10 or Windows 11 installed to that new drive. All right, at this moment, the drive doesn't run, doesn't have information, doesn't have Windows, therefore the computer doesn't boot up. So installation-wise, um, it's not going to be in this video, but I'll explain to you that is what you need to have. All right, the next step, like I said, I need to apply a new thermal paste. This this whole thing is actually a heat sink, and you can see the fan is a little bit dirty and have some uh, fur hair, animals hair on it. So we're gonna clean that up as well. <coughs> first thing first is to go ahead and remove the screws while the screw does not come off. So what I'm doing right now is just loosen up the screw. And when you start hearing the click, you should stop. Um, unwinding that screwdriver you have reached the max okay now there is a warranty sticker here the the void warranty sticker on this side so um, if you're going to remove the sticker you're going to void your warranty but the computer is already past the warranty um, date I'm just going to uh, stick my screwdriver in and unscrew. Okay, the next step, what I like to do is to remove the, uh, the fan. So go ahead and remove the screw, the two screw here on the right side fan. I'm going to slide the uh, connector to my right, that is the CPU fan connector. So I'm just going to slightly push and pull. I'm going to push the connector and pull at the same time to my right. there's so many loose screws around maybe someone have tried to open up the computer probably anyway working on the left CPU fan there are three screws holding it down unscrew three of them I'm gonna use the technique push and pull 
have the uh, cable here. I'm gonna push to my left. At the same time, I'm pulling it to the left. Okay. All right. Let's see if I can remove the uh, heat sink. This looks like there's one more screw here. That very important to remove. And there's one screw here to remove as well. Okay, at this point, I'm going to be very gentle, putting slight pressure, lifting up the heat sink. And there goes the entire heat sink. And it just come right off. And of course, the CPU fan is right there. There's one more screw here. Okay, as you can see that the uh, CPU and the graphics card, they use what we call the, the uh, liquid thermal. It doesn't look like a thermal paste to me. It's like silver, almost look like a mercury. That is a liquid thermal. Um, I do not have a liquid thermal on here. So what I'm gonna do is I'll still apply a thermal paste on top of that. Um, and we're just gonna go from there, okay? That is my thermal paste. Give a generous amount. If you have this um, kind of a spatula, go ahead and spread it apart thin and go from there. So what I'm gonna do next, I actually want to um, clean out the fan and I'll be right back. So I just use an A-can duster to just dust it off and hopefully that helps to uh, cool off the computer. Okay, I have cleaned out the uh, both of the CPU fan. It's much cleaner now. Um, I don't see much of the dirt. Let's go ahead and reinstall the uh, heat sink. You want to make sure that this cable here is going to be on top of the heat sink, not below. And that is the gap where you can put that put the thing in, making sure it matches all the screws area. Okay, I'm going to put the first screw. I'm going to turn a little at a time. Um, that way, when it squeezes that new thermal paste, it doesn't squeeze it all on one side. So I'm just going to turn like two or three turn turns on each of the screws, and then I'll come back and finish the rest of the turn uh, so that hopefully it will sit flush and straight onto the thermal paste. Okay, so once that is all done, remember the two tiny little screw here on the side. I wonder if the CPU fan should go in first though. If it is, then ah, make a mistake on that part. Nope, actually it can just go right in. So not too bad. Apologize, it's not needed. So one screw here. So the connector, the connector for your CPU fan, you see that the dots, that dots would be facing on the top. It's hard to explain it, but um, before you remove the CPU fan, you might want to take a look at it. Is the yellow cable at the bottom or the top? I mean the color. So if you know whether it, the connector go this way, or this way, right? So 
just so you know the the connector is supposed to be facing um, this way that means that little white dot is facing up all right they make the connector so tight I can't even get in so I'm gonna remove the screws connect the connector first then drop the CPU fan okay so we're gonna remove the CPU fan bring the connector here align it push it in then I'm gonna drop the CPU fan next Okay, once I've done with that process, let's do the same for this. Okay. Push it back in. Slide it in. And then reconnect the battery making sure that the metal bracket get pushed down to hold that connected together all right that's pretty much it and then we're going to reconnect this back together i'm going to slide this thing in from the top you want to align it on the top first making sure things are all in like such okay come back here and then connect the uh, the cable so the cable technically has to be pushed in and then press the clipper to clip it down like such so push it all the way in making sure that the clipper is open push it all the way in so I'm gonna push this cable here okay push it in and then close the clipper down redo this process and then you want to push all the screw back in and the next step is I'll be installing the windows because I just replaced the M.2 drive uh, that is the whole process okay thanks for watching until next time I hope this video is helpful bye now